Pastor Sudas, there's like no other person than our own Ambassador Ginika. Yeah, welcome. Good to be here. Thank you. You look beautiful this Thank morning. You. I like your outfit, yes. And it's like, you know, <laughs> like we planned it, yeah. Like mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, hit the ground <clears throat> running. Micro zoning, uh, how, how, when, when you heard this, was it, a, did it come to you as a joyful news or uh, with mixed uh, reaction? Of course, with mixed reaction. Um, zoning, you know, we had had that discussion last time and um, the importance of zoning. It's actually to give everyone a sense of learning. We're looking at zoning and competency, and we said every zone has got somebody who is competent enough to be placed in authority. And so if we do not zone, it means that the mi minority will not be protected. So if the, the main reason, the proponent of this zoning is to cushion the effect of being left out, of marginalization, of lopsidedness, like we are from the federal character, that is our duty, that's function, to ensure that people are not marginalized. So we can at least have this unity and diversity for the country. So if that is the reason, so I would say we have four presiding officers. We have the Senate President, we have the Deputy Senate President, we have the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker. The Deputy Speaker, we have four. And then out of this, we we'll have six geopolitical zones. However you look at it, everyone has been, you know, taken care of, except, let me put it, the North Central. So, and we talk about marginalization, they shouldn't be left out. We can't see ourselves giving two strong presiding offices to one zone, leaving out a zone entirely. It doesn't show unity. And we cannot see a situation also where we bring out our zoning structure and then attach names to this zoning. It doesn't make sense. For me, I think the zoning thing should be in the bone of contention. For I would say the names attached to those zonings should be kept aside. Okay, Is it my theory? Zone, yes. So we discuss zoning. Two chambers to decide. Definitely, we discuss Ooh, zoning. Uh, because, like I always say, see, Nigeria is just a wonderful place where people are very understanding people. But just the approach of those in authority has always been the problem. We have gone, we have done a lot. Some of us have risked our lives. We've gone to the villages, we've spoken, and from the southeast extraction and from Enugu State. And of course, but the I, record. I, I was thinking it should be elated because uh, the southeast was also captured but for the deputy. Like speaker. I said, I'm speaking from the federal character angle. Okay. And the, he who comes equity must come with a clean hand. Exactly. If I look at only southeast taken care of and I leave our brothers, it means I'm not worthy enough to speak when it comes to equity. Maybe someday it will be our turn to be kept aside. And then somebody will remember that a woman from the South East Extraction spoke for the North Central. Exactly. But it doesn't end there. I'm also not okay with the name. If you give us, especially now, you can see the chaotic whatever we experienced in the South East. I think we should be allowed. <laughs> it says members should elect for themselves. But you, have, you can actually come in. But the manner in which you come in matters. Stakeholders should come on the round table. Speak to people, don't listen to just one voice saying this person is good, this person is not good. You, of course, you know at the end of the day, I will delve into the issue of gender inclusion, which is what they promised us. If not, everything we spoke to the people about will be torpedoed. Okay, when you talk about gender inclusion, were you looking at uh, a female becoming the speaker? Of course. If we are looking at Southeast region and we say, okay, Southeast has been so marginalized, we, we rather prefer to have the this, the, the, the Senate president, that way we say, okay, but we also understand the fact that to whom much is given, much is expected, and to who give, to the person who gives more, more should be given. That is the mystery of life. Let's never overlook it. So not said, not West did great, should be given chunk, but everybody should feel the bite of the apple. Now, we are okay with the, what we have, but gender inclusion, we have only one woman. Right on Ebu Miriam Onoha is in the race, running with men. So if that starts come out with this gender inclusion, it would have at least cushioned the effect of the, you can see how people came out to say no to this. Do you get it? So it's a time we, we as party leaders should start 
you know, making cause, go into deep consultations before you make certain decisions. However, it's one day to note that the, whatever you've seen is just a publication by the publicity secretary, not the chairman. The chairman didn't sign oh, it. But can the publicity secretary uh, <coughs> bring out a statement without the go ahead of the chairman? <coughs> whatever, whatever statement was is brought. It possible? And from whatever that statement, time, up till now, the chairman has. Whatever statement was brought out, if you read that, if you read it deeply, he didn't say we have endorsed. He said this is the fallout of the meeting we heard. Looking at your own opinion and consultation, and we are now saying, oh no, thank you for this information, but we are okay. not okay so with this. So it's just like putting out an information it's to be a debated. It's a kite as far as I'm concerned. To be debated. Okay. Yes, and that's what we're doing right now. So it's not out of place to actually do what they did. And that is part of working yeah. for towards making sure that everyone is carried along. So I would say that my party cannot be blamed entirely because it's only an information how it's stipulated in the letter. It didn't say we have thereby endorsed these zones and these persons. It only said this is the fallout of our meeting for your own view and your own uh, input. So we're making our input now. Now let's look at it because there were a lot of people have been wondering why would Northwest get the deputy senate and get the speaker. <coughs> People say that uh, the Northwest during the election work better than every other zone. So are we now saying that winners take it all? Well, um, should this? Well, it, you can't take it happen. away from the fact that, yes, speaking into the truth, they did exceedingly well. But what the question should be now, would that number of inputs they made been able to deliver the president elect without the other little might coming from different zones the answer will be no right so if the answer is no it goes a long way to say that wisdom is profitable to direct yes to direct wisdom is profitable so the leaders should understand that in as much as the votes gathered from this northwest wouldn't have been enough to deliver the president elect it obviously means yes chunk a higher portion can be given but not where you have four positions and then two given when we are trying to bring everybody on board so we can move forward and work to see to the betterment of this country for me okay, it's when, a you no. say, when, when you say this uh, when you say you have an issue you have a problem with the names being attached is it that uh, you don't see the individuals being competent enough. They are all competent people. If you talk about Pabio, he's competent. If you talk about um, uh, the man from the Kaduna, right? Yes, he's competent. Uh, Abbas. Abbas is competent. They are all competent people. I only mention that manner of approach. Okay. These are people you should also get all these stakeholders, especially those that are contested. <coughs> so they don't have to see you publish something before you start getting to them is a slab across to them they put in so much look at okay like the lady i mentioned in a place where you you had the tsunami you can see what happened where governors couldn't make it into the chambers and then you have a woman get back you think that woman is just any her woman you put you sweep under the carpet no if you had called that on the table you see let me tell you that little recognition sometimes goes a long way to cushion the effect of pain that you would have felt you know so for me we can't because of the inordinate desire of the very few capitalizing on supremacy of party and then leaving the subjects behind. We can't continue to live like that because party is not spirit. Party is also channeled by human beings and they could also do it to, to their own desire, which is unacceptable. For me, people should be carried along. Most people will tell me, look, Gidika, well, you have not gotten an appointment where you are speaking. Me, I'll continue to speak. I worked for Atiwaju. I, I risked my life. Record has it everybody will attest to the fact that I did it self-sponsored. So it shouldn't stop me from seeing a situation going wrong in a country and I won't put in my own quarter. So even if I'm given a position of authority, that means that's how I won't even help the country or help the government that put me in place. Man, for me, I think it's time for, especially women, to speak out for other women. Are you worried that the scenario of 2015 may play out? It's looking so, but... Thank God this is coming early, so it can actually be tackled, yes. It's looking so, because government, our people, especially my party, shouldn't fail to understand that. This is not, this is an unusual 
tent uh, assembly. The tent assembly is an unusual assembly. When you have people like, <laughs> what's that, my, my friend's name, Kenga? Kenga there. Mm. Kenga will not allow you to rest. You understand? He's a man who says it the way it is. You have different people coming from different. I have my brother from Enugu State also, somebody who came in through labor, and he's not somebody you can now just we push. Have yeah, we have, uh, you understand? So now, a lot has happened. We are now looking at how do we make sure that we ensure we bring in peace and unity back into our country and the only way you can do that is to give everybody their due respect call them and let them talk speak into their minds persuade them don't subject be objective as a leader you don't subject people speak to them they are, they are humans they will listen to you and do the needful but when you go and then give slap them publish something let me tell you the danger of publishing if I have a sponsor and I'm running, maybe I have a sponsor, and the next thing, you publish somebody else's name. Mm. It means you have denied me that opportunity to even be looked at because the world is all about where there's success. Everybody wants to pan to that side. They don't want to even read. I had to read deep into the, the, the publication, the press release, and I discovered that it's as good as normal paper. There's okay. no source. It's not binding. No it doesn't have binding, if, binding effect on anybody. So to me, it's still, it's still negotiable. It's still a, a, a thing to be discussed. And for us to come at this early, it means we also have opportunity to, you know, to repair or make amends where applicable. All right, uh, we are still talking about the micro zoning of the leadership of the National Assembly by the All Progressives Congress. And Ambassador Ginica is still here. Uh, our network uh, center in Benin, uh, Daniel is standing by. He would want uh, to have, he has a question for uh, the guest. Uh, Daniel. Well, uh, before we get the link up, so Daniel, yeah, you're on. Of course. Ambassador Ginica, good morning. Good morning. Okay, now let's just take it from here. Don't you think the current crisis of the microzoning is going to send a negative signals, a signal to Nigerians? Well, like I said, um, it's coming early, and um, it's only a notification. I'm speaking into the press release I saw. It's only a notification. It's not an endorsement. It's not a decision made. It's only a fallout of a meeting held. And it means some people would have said, this is where we should go, and this is what we should do. And it's good that the party actually bring it to the notice of the public to say, this is where we are. Seeking for a referendum, is it okay? Is it not okay? And many people are saying not. So it's okay, they will have to revisit it because it's sending a negative, complete negative signal of disunity. And we are looking at bringing everybody on board as one in peace and unity so it's important it's imperative for us to go back as leaders seek more advice from the stakeholders and the president says we're actually looking for further consultation so okay nobody should actually be judging the party based on that belief instead somehow i will applaud them for releasing it early so we can talk about it and anywhere we need to make amends, it should be done quickly and amicably. Okay, now, the, the fear of having an assembly that will be doing the beat of the executive is the fear of some stakeholders. You know, uh, looking at the whole intrigue, it seems uh, we may have an assembly that will be working uh, in hand with the executive. And don't you think Nigerians may want to have a cause for concern? Because the assembly is to work. Uh, differently from the executive arm. Now, having a kind of um, consensus that is not really giving positive uh, impact, uh, won't that give a signal that we might end up having a rubber-stamped tent assembly? Okay, well, you are trying to talk about political interference. Of course. This is something we have lived with over the years. And abolishing needs to take step by step. But one thing I can tell you, for me, I think it's all about May 29th. After May 29th, a lot of things were put, put in place. The president-elect and the vice president-elect that I know 
they amend our desires of seeing this country move forward. So when you have executive that is desirous of having the best for the country, I don't think you don't have anything to worry about. But nevertheless, people now speak out. Everybody coming on board now knows that the people are no longer sleeping. You can see the inflow where areas where you never could expect certain people to come to win election, they did this time. So it's sending a signal also to those leaders to say, look, you have to do the right thing or else those that can speak will definitely speak. Okay. Uh, before I let you go, Ambassador Gidika, there have been a series of meetings between um, Oju Zokalu and uh, the president-elect. And of course, Gosu Lakbabio uh, is a frontliner for the seat of the presidency, talking about the Senate president now. Uh, don't you think to strike a balance, looking at the intrigues that played out during the primaries and um, talking about zoning power that the presidency initially to Southeast, do you think it will be very good and not out of place to give consensus to the Southeast extraction where you came from? Like I said before, it will be out of place, but you are also trying to make sure that everyone is carried along and feel happy. And you cannot rule out reward system. So that is why it is important that we all come to a round table. When you look at me as your, northern, as your south, southern sister, and I look at you as my northern brother, and we talk to each other, looking at each other, you know, in the midst of our leaders, it will go a long way to allow us to come to a good conclusion. Do you understand? So they have done well. And if you don't start rewarding people for what they have put in, those who did, would just sit down ordinarily will sit there. So it would be nice to have it there for us to say, okay, we are trying to make sure that the Southeast extraction feels good, but we must do that good with back. everyone back on the round back. table. And if it comes to the area where at the end of the day, we are not going to get that huge, but be given to that person who did most of the work, but we are not left out. Man, we are not greedy. We shouldn't be greedy. We should say thank you and plan and work better and you know, play around it better in the next election. <laughs> okay, uh, well, that's interesting. But Ambassador Ginika, should it be about a reward or capacity to deliver? I would like you to quickly react to that. Can you, can you say that again? Yeah, should it be based on reward? You just said uh, people should be rewarded. Should it be based on reward or capacity to deliver? Like we talked about reward, we talk about capacity. When you look deep and you talk about reward, everybody has got something to offer. Like they say, you, everyone has got their needs and values. Even somebody who you ordinarily look at that, oh, you won't have anything to offer. No, there is a place everybody can be attached to make an input. So you cannot rule out reward because there are people who, of course, were even abused. And then suddenly you see somebody who insulted you for somebody you supported be remembered and you you are there is a slap so to be diplomatic to balance wisdom and that, that is what i said leaving us out entirely would have been an area where we start to say oh no why did you do this to us but remembering us like i said in federal character is not equal it's all about giving everybody a sense of belonging wherever you are attached just make your impute there whatever you do there will create a way for you for the next, you know, opportunity. Okay, Nigerians are watching and we hope the 10th Senate uh, will give us the best. Uh, let's leave you in the hands of Charity Tanko. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Daniel. Well, uh, back to you. And uh, my next question is, if you were to advise, every zone wants to be included. We have the, even the Northeast, where the vice uh, president-elect comes from. Somebody, a very strong lawmaker, as an, a cognate member, a high-ranking member in the House of Representatives is also contesting for the speakership. So if you were to advise, looking at the six geopolitical zones, how will you want this to go? Well, for me, I think, like I said before, first and first, approach matters. The approach for now is wrong. The zoning is what should be looking <coughs> at, and everybody should be carried along. If the northwest, if the southwest were, they already had the president, yeah. you can say, okay, 
we look deep, the North Central, they have been left out. They should yeah. remember. That when you come to us, in order not to have us start fighting each other, let's not look at it like something, something that is orchestrated to bring this unity. Where we will now have to be telling our people you should be vigilant mm -hmm. and watch mm -hmm. strongly. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You should be sent down about it before somebody will come and create issues for us. I'm happy that the last, about three days ago, the Southeastern representatives, they all had a meeting. So that is the right thing to do. At the end of the day, they could come out with somebody to say, okay, this is who we want. And then we know that it's coming from us. But giving us a name but that's... Kalu, but Kalu, Benjamin Kalu is a vibrant lawmaker, and he has done well. Okay, does he omit the fact that... And do not Does forget. it omit the fact that Miriam Onohai is also capable, vibrant, no, she she's is. ranking? Number three, she would, do only her, would take care of five states. Gender, mm -hmm. as a woman, youth, capacities there, ethnic, zone, religion, and most importantly, reward. Imo gave 66,000 votes. Abia gave 8,000 votes. Nevertheless, Whoever we are going to be looking at, let's decide. Let's come on the round table and take that decision. No impose. No impose. You don't have to impose anyone on us. Princess Maybe Marani. because the name was published, we all felt the way we were feeling. And especially for me, I said it before that whatever is zoned to the south is I will speak for a woman. I'm a woman. And I know we are few. Even right now, in both red and grey chambers, we are few. And the earlier we begin to speak for each other, the better for us. The five gender bills, where is it today? We need a woman. We need to demonstrate that we also can do it. We need to put in our quarter into the betterment of this country. So the person that has come out in the person of Miriam Onoha, right honorable, she has got all it takes. And hey, and where men couldn't get it done. She, got, she it. got it. Yeah, and I think this is the time to ask you this question because some people have been wondering if she's still in the race. Oh, completely. Oh, she's strong in the race. Very strong. And she's not ready to step down. She wow. is there because every time, step down, step down, step down. When I, I delve into the circular politics, the first thing I heard was step down, second time, step down. I kept stepping, stepping, stepping. What about the promises to the women, gen to the gender women? We've been promised that we'll be carried along. Well, when it gets to a time to now place to placement, you will see us being left out to say, okay, party is supreme. We know. Party, party is supreme, but party is not spirit. Party, party is human being. Talking about uh, carrying women along and non, uh, not fulfilling promises, uh, would you say women have been doing enough in terms of speaking? and helping each other. Women, uh, we've not been doing enough. Because it's when it speaking. comes to politics, the men will use the women for Yeah, campaign. singing, in dancing. In fact, it's as if without women, men cannot get to yeah. where they want to get to. Singing, in terms of dancing, exactly. voting. We voting have 44 strength. points. So About 44 point nine. Women have been doing voters. enough? We've, speaking we've not been doing yourself. enough doing. We've not been doing enough speaking for why? ourselves. Why I don't so? know. I don't know because maybe... Uh, the way it is, women are not very well to do. So a little tip here, get them down. You know, some of us like me, I don't think once I'm okay, take, I'm able to take care of my children. That is all. I'm not a, somebody who wants to keep myself over too much money. So maybe that's why I come out to speak because some people have been calling me. Stop speaking. Stop speaking. I will continue to speak for the women because it may be my turn to be speaking for. Two. Uh, spoke, spoke, spoken for tomorrow. So for me, I think we're not doing enough there. And I'm calling on all women. It's time, especially those put in authority to speak for all women. Do your work. You have been put there to speak for the women. If you are not ready to speak, just go and be man leader and forget to be what you call yourself. Women, women should speak for each other. It's possible now. <laughs> it's possible. If you can't speak for women, then forget it. Forget it. Especially when you are the one who has been chosen to speak. Speak. Okay, you, you, you just said something that uh, everything, that things will begin to change after May 29. Because I believe in the person of Bola Ahmed. Tinubu. And what if, with all that you're feeling now, and what if, let's assume that after May 29, at the end of the day, this, uh, this arrangement 
still stands? Will you still, will you go by it? I, 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 well, I'm not in the race, but I will not go by it. I'm not in the race. Even when they, even when they are able to get to the, it's not in my place to either go by it or not. Mm. It's not. It's no, not. Not, it's not looking. No, yeah, it's not looking are, equitable at all. Okay. It's not looking equitable at all, as far as I'm concerned. But should they come on the round table and those involved agree, who am I to say no? Okay. I mean, that means they've been carried along. That sense of belonging has been taken care of, and that is all. Okay, it's issue all about now agreement. Is that there was no round table. No, talk. no, no, no. I don't think there was. No, no, there was none. And then and a statement yeah. was yes, released. Yes, was that there. is the bone of contention. That is it. People should be, you know, be given that recognition. You have come out to contest for something. All you need to do is uh, let's sit down. This is what we're looking at. Too. Let's contest it. Okay, no, it's true. Go this way. We would have come out with a better press, press release than what we have if they had carried everybody on the round table. Well, I must say thank you very much for being part of the program. We have been discussing micro zoning of the leadership of the National Assembly. The All Progressive Congress released a statement whereby the Senate president, the seat of the Senate president, was zoned to the South South and in the person of Augusto Lapavio and then the Deputy Senate President in the Southwest, uh, in the person of Jibrin uh, Barrow. Then in the uh, House of Representatives, uh, Tajuddin Abbas from the Northwest uh, got the note as the speakership uh, candidate. Uh, we have uh, Benjamin Kalu from the Southeast, and that has been costing a lot of reaction. Uh, the aspirants are not happy, their followers are not happy, but we are hopeful that at the end of the day, We'll do the round, the, 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 we'll do the right thing. I have been speaking with Ambassador Geneka. She has been here doing justice to this program. Thank you very much. And Thank it's you an honor having the beautiful self uh, be here with us. At this point, we'll take a short break, and when we return, the program this morning on ITV will continue. <laughs>